Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. Alright, so we've got a few things going on here. We've got two real overarching quests that I'm, I'm trying to kind of go at. Quest number one is to at least run every single dungeon that's available once. Uh, quest number two is to collect all the trophies. And as you can see from the highlighted versus non-highlighted trophies, there's only two I'm missing. If I had been smart, there'd only be one I was missing, but there are only two that I'm missing because I sold the deanimated helm instead of bringing it back as a trophy with me like a foolish fool. But I can complete that quest in two runs, uh, one back at the Halls of Steel and one here at the Slime Pit, which I believe always has a meat man, super meat man with his meat loaf. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the Slime Pit and then probably you know, a quick trip over to the Halls of Steel. Uh, all that will be left after that is the Cursed Oasis, I think, and Magma Mines I haven't done yet. Uh, and I think that's it as far as unlocked dungeons. I think I've at least run through everything once. Oh, I don't want a random run. Not even with a Gnome Assassin. Uh, yeah, I've been everywhere except for the Cursed Oasis and the Magma Mines once. If I'm wrong about that, guys, please tell me. Tell me what I'm missing, but I don't think I'm missing anything. I've been to Ixwamp. I've been to Hex Ruins. Okay. So we're going to be going to the Slime Pit. Now, the Slime Pit has an interesting mechanic about it. In the wreckage of a former goblin sludge mine, an entire colony of gooey, corrosive nightmares waits for heroes to come along and be slimed upon. It has an interesting mechanic about it. I remember that. Um, but I don't remember what it is. And that's kind of scary to me. <laughs> I know it's got something to do with uh, slimes turning, uh, meat men turning into poison, but that's okay. We also, fortunately enough, have a perpetual questing initiative quest right on top of this place, which is pretty awesome because we get an extra 500 gold if we do it, and it's pretty terrifying because it's an orc fighter purist. Any fighter purist I'm leery of. Uh, it's a fighter purist in the slime pit, which kind of scares me. Um, but it's the only quest we have here, so we're taking it. Uh, purest fighter is scary. It always is. And orc fighter is not bad, though. I like being orcs. Uh, I would be more comfortable if it was an elf, but hey, we're taking it. Taking it, and we're being happy that we found Wait What so early. Um, so, because we have Wait What, we're going to head straight for enemies, just so that we can switch places with them. That happens. Of course. I don't think there's going to be many of those uh, magic-resistant enemies, though. Uh, let's see here. We're going to grab this up. Glorious Mana Potion. Check that guy out. Another Tower of Gunas. Let's see. He's corrosive and he has magic attack. That's scary. Acid Blob. Whereas a Goo Blob only has physical resist. This guy doesn't have physical resist. That's interesting to know. I need to avoid corrosive enemies, for sure. Uh, a feel sick could be incredibly valuable if I run across enemies that I can actually fight. And a troll heart at level 1 could be huge. Uh, I'm not certain I want to spend my money on it yet, because a fine sword is also huge. Um, let's at least try this as we're exploring. Good, that worked. Uh, fine sword is a big, big deal. Okay, fine, I'm totally a rip-off character. I have permission to be here. Honest, super meat man. Super meat man. Super pain in the butt. Uh, as an enemy, but I can take him. I can take him. What's in this? Witch lock pendant. Well, I haven't found fireballs yet, so it's not that important. Uh, let's switch places with the only character I know where he is. And a level 3 enemy. He's got curse and magic attack. He does 14 damage. He's a bit too much for me right now, even with a feel sick. Okay, there's a level 2. He is poisonous, which is a bit of a problem. We'll just wait what him. Uh, how much damage does he take? 18? I could get myself up to... I could get myself up to 18 in two hits. With the fine sword. Um, and it would level me up. So, we'll buy the fine sword. We're gonna heal up. And I can hit him. And wait what him. Like so. And get that victory going. Very nice. And it's good to have that one victory out there. So this guy, similar situation, I assume. Um, should I have bought this before I leveled up? I don't know. I could have. Um, we're going to pick up biceps and use it. 
And check this guy out now. Yeah, we can kill this guy now. Curse bearer with magic attacker, no. And a little bit more exploration. I can check this out. Don't recognize it. Let's kill this level three. So how we do this? Same deal. Hit, switch places, and level up. And be level three with only two kills under our belt. That's pretty nice. Uh, I've got a couple curse stacks, but uh, we're gonna have to live with that. So let's switch places with this guy. Is this a regular Zomblo? No, he's not. He's a Muckwalker. These guys, these are different enemies. These are interesting enemies, and they all have negative status effects. So we have to be a little bit careful. Um, this level 4 guy is not going to level me up, no matter what tricks I pull. So I need to not deal with that. Um, should be switching places with all these guys for the extra experience and continuing my exploration. Uh, win against him wouldn't mean much. So we can just do this. I explore. Oh, I should have definitely moved him out of the way. Like so. Alright, and I can grab this. Get in there. Fantastic lift. Um, eventually I'm going to have to switch out get in there with wait what against someone. I could probably go after this meat man, and I should be. So let's do that. So let's hit him once, and a feel sick him. Yeah, I get six tiles off of feel sick, so I should definitely have been fighting him for a while now. Wasting a lot of exploration not fighting him. Um, that was a that was kind of that was a potentially extremely damaging mistake actually, and I feel very bad about it. Let's see, do that and that, and I can get another hit, and I can get another hit, and I can keep him poisoned, and I only need one more hit, um, like so, then I can use get in there for the win. Perfect. Okay, and that level four over there would also be a good target. Okay, well that worked out for us. Spoon, I'll probably purchase it. If I, if I end up needing that. Uh, you would be an equivalent target. So if I use biceps, yep, I can take you out in one hit. Uh, I can just hit you, then get in there, and win. And be level four. Okay, uh, how much damage do you do, my meat manny friend? A lot. Is that is that you know, an acceptable amount? A lot. Um, yeah, I need you to do less damage than that. I really do. Uh, okay, but I can't make you do it, so I'm going to continue looking for enemies I can actually kill. This guy's undead, bloodless, and weakening. Not really my forte. Let's uh, switch places with someone, like you, who is blocking my path. And continue searching for legitimately beatable enemies. Uh, this guy's probably defeatable with a feel sick. Let's explore up first just in case I'm wrong. Yeah, I get six tiles, so I can definitely beat this guy. Uh, one hit. I'm gonna get all kind of curse, but I don't have any protections anyway. Uh, how much do you do? I can get three more tiles regardless. Like so. And I can hit him again. I can just have, I have to a feel sick him again to get my exploration going. Then I can hit him again, cast my get in there, and win. Perfect. Grab up the health potion, and check down here. Oh god, it's a goo blob. Okay. Okay. I can deal. I can manage. I should definitely be checking in here to see what, what's up. Uh, curse plant. What does it drop? Plus 5% damage. Yeah, I'll take curses. I'll take curses all day. I don't have any protections. I also haven't run across any... Um... Oh my goodness. What are we going to get rid of here? I guess wait what is the practical thing to get rid of? Because everything else has a use and get in there can kind of replace wait what. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to just uh, pick up wisp gems. Left and right. Increase our damage percentage grossly. So that works. Uh, bonus 55% now. Our base damage is only 26, but uh, we can increase that pretty effectively. Let's see here. So we no longer wait wadding enemies, but uh, oops, that was a mistake I didn't need to make. 
Uh, misclick for sure. This guy. He does 50 damage. It's a bit too much. Um, let's see. Well, I can take on this guy. I'm not really worried about uh, Curse, obviously, anymore. Because I'm not going to have any protections. I'll be level 5. I could start wailing on this Meat Man. How much does a Feel Sick actually even do to him, though? It gets me 5 tiles. And that's all I need. I would rather be close to leveling up before I took on Meat Man, though. Um, yes, technically I could probably beat him right now. It would take a million years, but I could do it. But if I was close to leveling up, I would be less scared about just running out of exploration. Uh, we'll only do that if I can get, if I can beat him. Let's use, get in there, let's use biceps. If I can beat him without, um, without what? Without using up all of my exploration, literally, probably. That would be a big deal. And that's probably what I'd have to do to beat him. Um, I'm going to level up once. I'm going to get level 6, and then I'm going to go after Meat Man. So, how do I want to do it? I'll take on this level 7. Which I should be able to... No, he's a little bit out of my league, I think. Even with biceps and get in there, I'm not sure I can beat him. I'm doing 57 damage. He'll have 51 remaining. Yo, I can beat him with get in there and biceps. So let's explore just a tiny bit. Like so. And hit. And I dodged, which kind of destroys all the need for anything. Because I can just get in there now. And biceps. And win without even taking any poison, which is nice. Um... This will put me at 20, and that will finish it off. So let's get our mana up. There's uh, Burnderaz. What do we want to replace Burnderaz with? Biceps, for sure. Pick that up. Let's get close to leveling. It's a level 8 there. There we go. Okay. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to cast Feel Sick on this guy. Like so. And I, I think Burnderaz as well would be nice. Um, so Fireball. Then I'm going to hit him once. Level up. And I can hit him again. But more importantly, I can Fireball him. And to Feel Sick him again. That gives me 12 tiles of exploration. So I can fully up my mana. 11. That's enough. And I can hit him. And to feel sick him again. And fireball him again, actually. And this is going to be the long road, guys, of explore and attack. And I can explore to where I've got uh, full mana, or enough mana to cast feel sick again. Explore some more. This guy's going to take all of my exploration away. But that's okay. I don't really have a choice. So let's get our mana up. We have 11 tiles. That should do. Hit. Feel sick him up. 8 tiles. 3. 7. Can't hit him again, so we feel sick him. And there's my first god. Hi, Ben Lore. You would have been useful earlier. Hit. A feel sick. And we've got 11 tiles, so plenty basically just keep him a feel six and he does 50 some odd damage so we can hit him every time we get above that keep him down we're about halfway through his health um beating him at level six will be good he will get very close to leveling us up and we can start working on the goo blob full force after that 10 tiles, it's a lot, like so, hit, I feel sick, I could throw on a fireball, just do a little bit, um, we've got him about halfway, we still have a lot of exploration left, uh, and as many tiles as we could possibly need, so, there we go, 
Can't hit him. But I have to feel sick him now. Now I can hit him. Get the feel sick going. I apologize if my commentary on this is a little stented. It's just, you know, this is a, a very repeating kind of thing. Okay. Torog. Torog could speed this up. Um, except I'm using a feel sick over and over again, so I don't really want to use Torog. I've also got to deal with the Goo Blob later, so I don't want to use Torog so much. So let's explore up above 60. Pick up the health potion. Hit him again. I actually go Fireball. And I'll feel sick. Get up to 11 tiles. That's nice. So Torog's not going to happen either. It would be nice, but it's just not going to happen. We're slowly going to work this Meat Man down. Oh, man. Looks like we're doing this faithless, guys. Okay. I feel sick. Get all the tiles out in the world. I hope I have enough. Just honestly. Uh, I've still got to hit him one, two, three, four, five more times. So, I feel sick. And I'll actually throw on a fireball. Bring it up to nine tiles that I can explore. Um... I hate fighting meat men for this reason. Alright, there we go. Don't like counting tiles. We're down to four hits though. And I have a get in there still. So uh, it's really not that bad. I'll have barely enough exploration to deal with this. Like so. Oh, it's, it's actually gone. There we go. Six tiles. I uh, can't hit him. Are we out of exploration? Crap. We are. We're totally out of exploration. Um, I wanted to save a level up. But uh, it's looking like it's not possible. I don't need to get feeling parched, I guess. I can use health potions on this. So, I'll, I can hit him. I can fireball him. I can hit him again. And... Use one mana potion, which kind of sucks, to get in there and win this fight. There we go. Four! Someone left the dungeon door open for too long. The meat men are beginning to rot. Alright, fair enough. The meat men are beginning to rot. Okay, I have no exploration at all. That's bad. Um, I can level up, no problems, but I don't really have any resources here. I can cast get in there. There, I have one health and zero mana right now, so... It's an appropriate time to level up, I suppose. Let's do so. Now let's look at uh, this guy. How many fireballs is it going to take, man? One, two, three, four million? Jeez. Okay, let's get close to leveling. Uh, all the easy wins in the world. I can't regenerate it all, so... No one that damages me. Um, like that, like that. Like that. Kill this dude. I can even kill these level 5. And this muck walker. Which puts me at 1 away from leveling up. Which is fine. Uh, I can't hit him once. Oh, I can hit him once. And I won't get rid of my death protection. Oh, I don't have the death protection anymore. Darn it. Okay. We can get two of those fireballs off right now. That's good. We've done a little bit to him. And let's level up. Okay. And I can hit him again. And get the fireballs going. Question is, can I level again? As a fighter, it might be possible. Death. Okay, this is a win. Uh, the meat men are decaying at a rather alarming rate. That's scary. Um, three. Looking at wins here. 27. 30. 32. That's death. Oh, I can do it. Okay, good. And win right there puts me at level 9, which gives me another hit. A couple more fireballs. And I've still got a lot more to go on this, but I, I'm fairly confident at this point I can win. Um, let's see, how are we going to approach this? Well, we're going to use our mana potions for sure. So, uh, yeah, one fireball out of that. Puts him right there. And what next? 
get in there is not going to do a whole lot. Still have to get 86 damage on him. Could be an issue. Let's see, we've got a spoon. We can buy another mana potion. Which, 5, 10, it's another fireball. Brings him down to 47 more damage. Um, hmm, how much damage does he do? 90? Let's see here. Heidi. I have to get several hits on him. How many regular hits? One, two, three regular hits on him. Get in there would allow one. So I need to save that get in there for the last attack. Um, health potions. Oh, there's another mana potion. Brilliant. I didn't even see that. So fireball. Brings him down to seven. Get in there and win. Wow, that was close. That was really close. Okay. So we're going to grab this and sell it. And we're going to grab this meatloaf and take it back with us. And that's one more meatloaf for the uh, for the thingy. For the uh, the trophy list. I was a little concerned about that guy. Ugh, I hate fighting meat men. Super meat men take so much exploration. Alright. I'm very glad I had to feel sick. So we beat it. Cheeky, Faithless, and Purist. Which is pretty nice. Let's continue. And... Task complete, deny monster healing. Alright, that's fine. Perpetual questing initiative. 500 extra gold. Yay. Economic nemesis. Undeterred by recent threats and an economic downturn, the more intrepid heroes of your kingdom continue to seek out and destroy new kinds of monsters. Unfortunately, your latest dungeon conqueror sporadically exploded in a nova of blood and viscera while parading through the streets of your kingdom. Leaving nothing except an ugly mess, a few hundred mildly agitated witnesses, and a bloodied letter from your dear friend Horatio. It says, Hi! I've got to admit, Kingdom Administrator, you've really got some guts. And so did that hero of yours. Ha ha ha. Look, I know this is an awkward request, but could you just leave my damn territory alone? Right now, even? You see, every bit of land that you're stomping about in this pretty much my birthright. From the rolling northern deserts to the fetid swamps of their southern yada 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 etc etc. I hardly even care to justify myself at this point. I don't like you or your kind and never have. Get out or suffer. Okay? There's a stamp on the back of the letter and it says, sent from the office of Horatio the Immortal Top Floor Tower of Gauntlet. Disclaimer. Horatio the Immortal and those who represent him do not accept liability or any damage done to the hero bearing this note. Any kingdom-wide retaliation for such damage is performed entirely at the kingdom's own risk. Dun dun dun. New trophy sold. Meatloaf. One trophy left. Yay. Adventure. And you can see Tower of Gauntlets right there. Uh, even when... Yeah, I can't select it yet. Even when the old northern desert empire still existed, this structure was considered both ancient and unassailable. Note, this dungeon will remain locked until you've proven you can slay every type of monster in the land. Check the test taxidermist for a list of trophies you still need. So I still need one trophy, and it's here in the Halls of Steel. The deanimated helm. Alright guys, thanks for watching.